Welcome to FS17 Lawn Care. Today we will be mowing a few commercial lawns on the Square Farms map. We'll be making our way over to the shop here in our brand new 2018 Ford F-150 XLT. I got it pulled out of the shop so that the 5.0 V8 can get warmed up. And today we will be using brand new Ferris 48 inch stand on mower along with the brand new 2018 Ford F-350 regular cab dually and the 20 foot utility trailer. We will first be mowing the Chevy dealership and if we do have time we will be mowing one more commercial lawn. I usually uh, tend to give a few days for commercial properties only at the start of the week and then towards the end of the week we do a lot of residential lawns. Now this was a very highly requested video it was lawn care. I try to feature a lawn care video every single week for all of you guys. We do have the truck, trailer, and mower all loaded up ready to go for us. I do that the night before to make it a little bit easier on us in the mornings when we are a bit tired and we just want to get out and mow in the morning and it does speed up the process. We arrive here at the shop. We'll get this backed in here. This is kind of my parking spot over the last few uh, episodes as well. We'll watch the wall there and we'll get this backed in here. Now one cool thing that will be awesome here for us at 150 would be tow mirrors as in a uh, Bible option. That would be an awesome thing and for version 2 Dylan has ramps on it as well which is awesome. Big shout out goes out to him. Go check out his channel Punkit Dylan on YouTube. He did release that recently. Here is our brand new Ford F350. It does have the 6.7 liter power stroke it is a regular cab dually and it's an XLT which is awesome and then back here is our brand new Ferris 48 inch stand on mower now this was uh, one of the first versions of the stand on mower I actually brought this over from FS15 to FS17 and uh, in the file name it did say Ferris so it's a Ferris but it was also used as an x bark you guys can see the 20 foot trailer and big shout out goes out to Super Duty Modding for sending me uh, this cab in the bed and this thing does look awesome. Really do like today's setup. And the majority of our lawn care truck company uh, vehicles are Fords and new Fords as well. So that's pretty cool as well. I mean, Ford gives us a great discount. So we do buy quite a lot of new ones from them. We'll be hopping in here now. I do want to lock up the gate just because we do have trailers outside and we don't want those to go missing while we are out at work. And it just adds an extra layer of security, which is always good. We'll come over here and we'll get it uh, locked up here. Now we also put a lock on it. You guys can see this. We'll come over here and it will slide and then we'll put the lock on. Perfect. We got our fence locked up. I really do like that a lot though. Having uh, working gates, everything like that here in FS17. I hope all of you guys are having an amazing day today. Let me know how it is down below here in the comments. And this past Sunday was our first Sunday stream which was awesome. A lot of you guys came by, showed a lot of support and I really do appreciate it. Going live is a lot of fun and I can't wait to do it every single Sunday here for all of you guys and take a look that we do have uh, vehicles at the Chevy dealership and like I've touched upon in other dealership videos one of the purposes to having it uh, all those videos setting up the dealers is so we do come here for like lawn care things or even to trade vehicles and there is equipment here that does add to realism and I just really do like that a lot they do have a few trucks there up on the ramps there and I do have new ramps on the way as well which is pretty cool so we'll, we'll hop here in the 48 inch Ferris and we'll uh, get mowing now a few updates here for you guys. I've gotten a lot of requests asking me and a lot of comments uh, also asking me about where is the uh, train cut mower. I'm currently working on it and hopefully I could get it released as soon as possible. I'm trying to re rework some of the textures to make it even better than what I had it as and uh, I really want it to be a really good mod as well. So I do apologize there but I want it to be awesome. Now as you guys can see, I mean this Ferris is awesome. It does have a little bit of a longer wheelbase I will have to say than the X mark stand on mower but that's okay and Ferris is a pretty cool bit and I am looking at a gravely uh riding mower like a zero turn and I'm also looking at other skags cool things like that but I am also in the works on two compact tractors a Kubota and also a John Deere one and both will have mower decks things like that along with detachable loaders so cool things like that are coming to the channel they do take time though for those mods and with a busy uh, school year ahead of me and for the majority of you guys I do appreciate all of you though for checking out all of the videos 
Now, as you guys can see, this stand on is nice. Maybe I should have looked into like the 60 inch to make it a bit more efficient. I might do that though. Maybe just call them up and see if we could uh, get a 60 inch instead of this, and that might help us out. Let me know your feedback though, and what is like the perfect uh, uh, perfect size? I do know 36 inch to 32 inch is what fits in the majority of uh, small gates, and then uh, all of these bigger ones are for uh, being more productive. If you haven't already, I do recommend you, you turn on my post notifications and follow me on Instagram at Square2448. I do post daily pictures over there, which is a lot of fun. And I do have some pretty cool things here in the works, including a brand new farming series. Now, this series will be probably one of the best farming series I've ever done on the channel. It will be as realistic as possible. It will be kind of a small farm feeling. Uh, that way, we don't have to hire workers. We could do all of it ourselves, and those videos will definitely be a pretty long upwards of a half hour long so stay tuned for all of those I can't wait to do that now over here is the uh, 2018 Chevy 1500 2019s are coming very soon and they actually do have a 2019 on the showroom we might look at it at the end of today if we do have time it's the trail boss Silverado which is pretty cool it's a new uh, generation just came around and I really do like all the new trucks though I do uh, want to use more Toyotas more Nissans and other brands like that including Ram more on the channel as well I do use a lot of Fords and Chevys and I am trying to use a bigger variety so if you do have any cool uh, trucks that you guys would like to send me you could always uh, are welcome to do that and I will give you a shout out uh, for using them in a video now a lot of the dealerships don't have too much grass all of their land is uh, parking lots and you guys can see that's pretty much what this is and uh, we just have to mow along the outside of it and that is a bit of time as well as you guys can see we are doing at the end of today, we will be heading back over to the shop, and then we'll hop back there in an F-150. Now, like I've touched upon, it, big shout goes out to Dylan for releasing that truck. One epic truck, one of the best Fords I've ever seen in this game, quality-wise, and all the different engine options, working tailgate, wheel options that are OEM, everything like that is awesome about that truck. The first person you hear on this Ferris is pretty nice, and if you do have any cool brands, please let me know down below in the comments. I really would like to get a Ventrack in the game. I mean, that will be a pretty cool thing to get, and that is pretty much classified as a compact tractor. So much different attachments for that. I really would like one of those, and more uh, zero turns as well. So let me know your feedback. I'm always looking to get new mowers, and using your ideas to help. Uh, generate those new equipment and new videos and this will actually be the last pass here on this and then it will head over to another small one awesome so this is the last pass here it's really not too much it's just like uh, I would say 15 feet from the uh, driveway area now you guys can see they have doors on all sides of this which is awesome now I do have version one of the square farms map currently in the works with more uh, dealerships more updates to it and anything that needed fixing I also did fix as well as multiplayers all worked out so those are cool things coming as well and actually we have one more pass back to get to our truck that's okay going a little bit over the property line isn't going to hurt and could uh, potentially uh, even make this area look a little bit better now we will be mowing one more shop today it's a very small one I usually like to do one big one small this kind of do how I like to do these videos here but I do know that many landscape lawn care companies do mow just around 10 to 15 lawns a day if not more uh, and sometimes they have multiple crews to go out and I think that that would be an awesome thing to do so let me know your feedback maybe we could get like a multiplayer game together do some cool things like that over uh, the vacations uh, we have just finished mowing here which is awesome and as you guys can see here in the distance it was our F-350 and this trailer now I do prefer to back these on the trailer but that's okay and I mean this truck looks awesome the 8 foot dually bed with a regular cab is one pretty cool setup big shout goes out to Super Duty Modding I'm partnering up with him to make some pretty cool mods and as you guys can see this is one awesome one and you guys can see this trailer is also very nice I do like it a lot 
and we'll head over to this last one here. The one though over here came out very nice, and this is actually pretty early hours for the uh, Chevy dealership as well. I always like to come it when they're the least busiest. Uh, that way it's a little bit easier for them. And we'll go by the repair shop. It might need uh, mowing. It might not be, but it, it more than likely we'll need it. Sometimes navigating these roads is a bit tricky with so many different things, but the repair shop is up here to our right. Once we do it, we'll then head back over to our uh, shop and then it will uh, call it a day there. I actually do want to park on this uh, side street here. I don't really want to block that way just because there more than likely will be somebody uh, coming in and out. So we'll park right here. Actually, I want to get up on the side just a little bit more and I will be getting traffic cones as well. I do have them in a lot, a lot of my uh, series, but I will have to add them to Lawn Care 1. And we'll hop back here on this and we'll have to get up and over the curve. That will be a bit tricky. Actually, we've got to back up. Usually, for stand-ons, you will back up. And the property one is actually uh, like five feet behind the building, so it's not too big of a property, and that's good. I and mean, like I've touched upon, I always do like doing that mixture. Now, one thing you guys are seeing right now is the chute is facing away from the sidewalk. I do not want to throw the grass onto the sidewalk, especially when it's wet, the grass will stay in the sidewalk, leave grass all over there, and that's not a good thing to do, and uh, it does not look professional, so that's one thing, and when you are mowing in real life, I do recommend you do that, and you always want to walk the area, sometimes there could be uh, little debris, rocks, anything like that, and it's always safest to double check, those are just tips, I actually do uh, walk the area, just make sure everything is good, and we'll just outline the building next. Stand-on mowers are very compact and very versatile for getting in tight areas. So that's one of the reasons why I wanted this Ferris as well. And the speed of this thing is pretty quick as well. So we'll just try to do this section and, I mean, just take a look at that awesome speed. And the player looks awesome on here as well. I really do like doing these lawn care videos like I've touched upon. My plan is to do one every week, week and a half here on the channel. And a few things about this lawn care series is I actually started this back in FS15. It's been a very long time and, and you guys still really do enjoy it. This uh, series helped the channel grow to where it is now and all the other series as well and I just appreciate all of your support it's a lot of fun to respond to comments every single day and you guys are the ones that are making it possible to do all of these videos and I really do like doing them as well and you guys are awesome fans with everything you do uh, giving me great video ideas supporting me on Instagram Twitter everything like that it's just a lot of fun and I appreciate all of you guys for it all and we'll try to do this that I'm doing it section by section sometimes it is a bit trickier and that's okay and uh, we'll have to make a pass back it's almost like we are missing a few spots but we are getting them which is good at the same time we really only have this front section here which is not that bad now the chute is facing the uh, driver area and I will be trying to make this series as realistic as possible. I am working on a leaf blower that could potentially blow uh, the grass or anything like that and other things like that along with a working weed eater. I really want those to help improve this series as well and uh, I think that those would be awesome to do and I don't really feature them too much because they do cause lots of headaches uh, with the weed eater falling over on us and it's just uh, not really worth those headaches for the little things that uh, those do but I definitely would like to get uh, one and uh, ones that do fully function but that's it here for this property and I actually want to get this backed on here now backing on is a little bit easier and we'll get this backed on perfect and I think we'll just put it right about there. Usually you do want 10% of the tongue weight on the truck, but for a mower like that, it's not that uh, big of a deal if we were to do a little bit more on the front end because this is a F350 dually a regular cab. I really do like the regular cabs and the long beds. That is one of the perfect work combos, and we actually do have a new Ram uh, regular cab long bed as well. So we do have lots of cool trucks that we do get to feature here in videos, and we just overdrove the uh, shop by one. Uh, street, but that's okay. We'll go in the back way, and that won't be bad at all. 
If you do have any cool mowers or any places you guys would like me to mow for the upcoming lawn care video, let me know your feedback. I always do use it to help improve my videos. We'll probably keep this outside. I do want to wash down the mower and uh, just try to keep it clean before we do park it up because I think that we will go trade it in probably for a 60 inch. I mean 60 inch mower sounds great to me. It's going to make it a bit more efficient. We don't have any properties as well that do have gates, but I think, let me know your feedback. Should we get gates on the Square Farms map, I think that that would be a pretty cool thing to have fences, everything like that. But we'll hop back here in the 2018 Ford F 150 and we'll make our way back over to the house. But thanks for watching today's lawn care video. Have a great day and subscribe for more.